I'm Dan, and I'm going to help you find out which school you want to go to for optometry school. I know you're excited, you want to go to optometry school, and there's so many choices, so how do you choose which one to attend? Well, for me, it boiled down to a few important points. The first one being, really, where did I want to live? Um, so I looked at different areas of the country where there were schools and researched each one and found out, kind of decided what the cost of living was like in that area, and also looked at the school, how reputable was the school, and what the cost of living was like. Because school is expensive as it is. So first thing to do for schools is just research, research, research. Read all you can about each school. Um, talk to people who have gone to that school and try and just find out as much as you can about each school that you're interested in. And then for me, financial responsibility was, was very important. So I wanted to find out how much each school was for tuition and then also if they offered any scholarships. And um, if they did, would it pay out throughout my whole school? So at the school I went to, I got a scholarship for a few thousand dollars my first year. But then that was the only year I got a scholarship. So kind of look into that as you're looking at the schools. Do they usually keep that scholarship going or is it only for that first year? Um, and then also I looked for some of the cheaper schools. A lot of times, like I originally wanted to go to UAB in Alabama because it was an in-state school and it had much cheaper in tuition for in-state people. So look for schools in your area if they have one and you might be able to get in-state tuition which would save you a lot of money. Or if it's an out-of-state school or private school like the one I go to here in Texas in San Antonio, um, it's the same um, tuition rate for everybody because it is a private school. So definitely look into the financials and also, so not only tuition, but what's the cost of living like? So if you go to Berkeley or uh, Boston or any of these schools in big cities, it's going to cost you a lot of money to live there. And that's going to come out of your loans most likely and you're going to end up paying thousands of dollars more um, just in living expenses as if you if you were to go somewhere else basically. So play that into how much cost of living is going to be because loans are going to be very hard to pay back after your, after all of your schooling. You're going to have hundreds of thousands of dollars in loans and you want to make the most prudent choices now to help limit those amounts of loans so you can be successful in your future. And also look for a school in an area where you'd like to practice. So as you go to school, you're going to realize that you're going to make connections with doctors in that area, and it'll be you'll have a lot of people come to your school that'll try and recruit you. And so if you want to work in that area, um, then it'll be much easier to find a job straight out of school if you've gone to school in that area. So me, I want to go practice up in Washington State after I'm done. Um, so I don't have a lot of people coming to talk to me about practicing in Washington, so I've had to do a lot of that footwork myself. Another big decision for me for choosing an optometry school is what their curriculum was like. Since I went to med school and I didn't enjoy it, I didn't really want a highly medical model um, going into optometry school. I wanted more of a behavioral um, uh, kind of curriculum. And so I wanted a school that pretty much just specialized in optometry. And I think some of these other schools are getting that's beginning to become more of a norm is to combine some school, some classes in each school with, say, medical students and also dental students just to save money. Um, but really look, for, kind of find out what their curriculum is like and see if that fits your personality and what, what you want out of school. You may also want to look at the faculty. So usually most schools will post on their websites all their faculty. Look for a school with, with well-known faculty that have been around a long time that have a lot of experience um, and that will be great instructors for you while you're in school because that's very important. Also maybe look at about the board score and the passage rates from that school and really find a school that prepares you well for boards because you're not going to become a doctor if you don't pass boards and boards can be very difficult for a lot of people and um, many people don't pass the first several times. So really find a school that will prepare you well for boards and for your career in optometry. But another perk of finding a clinic in an area where you want to live is that you'll be seeing patients of that demographic of that geographic area. So even in the United States, different areas have very different, different demographics. And so you'll receive excellent training in the area of your school. So if you stay around there, you'll be uh, well prepared for treating that demographic. So that's just a few quick uh, ideas to kind of be thinking about as you're looking to apply to optometry school and looking to which school to go to. If you have any other questions, be sure to message me and I'd love to give you some more of my insights.